In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today we offer this Holy Mass for all six in, in our community. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sins in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, our refuge in trials, our strength in sickness, our comfort in sorrow, spare your people, we pray, that through rightly justing now by affliction, they may find relief at last through your loving mercy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. the book of Job. Job answered his friends and said, I know well that it is so, but how can a man be justified before God? Should one wish to contend with him, he could not answer him once in a thousand times. God is wise in heart and mighty in strength who has withstood him and remained unscathed. He removes the mountains before they know it. He overturns them in his anger. He shakes the earth out of its place and the pillars beneath it tremble. He commands the sun and it rises not. He seals up the stars. He alone stretches out the heavens and treads upon the crests of the sea. He made the bear and Orion, the Pleiades and the constellations of the south. He does great things past finding out, marvelous things beyond reckoning. Should he come near me, I see him not. Should he pass by, I am not aware of him. Should he seize me forcibly, who can say him nay? Who can say to him, what are you doing? How much less shall I give him my answer or choose out arguments against him? Even though I were right, I could not answer him, but should rather beg for what was due me. If I appealed to him and he answered my call, I could not believe that he would hearken to my words. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Daily I call upon you, O Lord. To you I stretch out my hands. Will you work wonders for the dead? 
will the shades arise to give you thanks. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Do they declare your mercy in the grave, your faithfulness among those who have perished? Are your wonders made known in the darkness or your justice in the land of oblivion? Let my prayer come before you, Lord. <clears throat> but I, O oh Lord, cry out to you. With my morning prayer, I wait upon you. Why, O oh Lord, do you reject me? Why hide from me your face? Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I consider all things so much rubbish that I may gain Christ and be found in him. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. As Jesus and his disciples were proceeding on their journey, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have dens and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. And to another he said, Follow me. But he replied, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. But he answered him, Let the dead bury their dead. But you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. And another said, I will follow you, Lord. But first, let me say for a while to my family at home. Jesus answered him, No one who sets a hand to the plow and looks to what was left behind is fit for the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, we come to ask the Lord for the health of our soul and our body. In this healing mass, we must approach the Lord with true confidence, knowing that he can cure our illnesses and our sorrows, that he can alleviate our soul. The first disease from which we must be healed is our sin. That is why today is a good day for to say to the Lord, Lord, forgive me. Lord, purify my soul. Lord, transforms my life. The Lord knows everything that makes us suffer. He knows our diseases and our sorrows. Why we ask today, Lord, Lord, give me health. Lord, give me your salvation. Now, in a moment of silence, each one of us ask the Lord with humility to cure our diseases of body and soul. And at the end of the Mass, when I lay hands on you, approach with faith in the power and mercy of God. Remember that nothing is impossible to God. Let us pray on silent.
with confidence, we present our petitions to God. For our Holy Father, our bishops and priests who have left all to follow Jesus and proclaim the kingdom of God that they may never look back, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That world leaders may be just before God in their decisions and policies, upholding human dignity and working for justice and peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the transcendent and all-powerful God, so reverenced by Job, may do marvelous things beyond reckoning for all of us who approach him humbly in this Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the poor and the displaced, for refugees and immigrants, that Jesus, who in his life also had nowhere to lay his head, may uphold them in their wanderings and help them to find a home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, that God, who is wise in heart and mighty in strength, may purify them quickly in his wisdom and love and bring them rejoicing into his divine presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the eternal rest of past Squarner. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> we pray for our Paris community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Faithful God, hear our humble petitions and grant what we ask in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care, they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwearing hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving, and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, 
and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we, humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Charles our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially Pat. and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. So this will enter on my road. I only say the word, I am my soul.
Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that in receiving your sacrament, we may experience help in mind and body, so that, kept safe in both, we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Amen.